it is a planet of supersonic winds that scream at over 1,200 miles per hour, the fastest in the solar system. It is home to colossal swirling storms like the Great Dark Spot that appear and fade in its turbulent atmosphere. And its largest moon, Triton, is a captured world from the Kuiper Belt, a cantaloupe-skinned oddity that spews ice and nitrogen from cryovolcanoes. Like Jupiter, Neptune's immense gravity makes it a powerful shepherd for the outer solar system. Just recently, astronomers discovered a rare, distant object in a bizarre 2-5 resonance with Neptune, meaning it orbits the Sun twice for every five times Neptune does. This object is a testament to Neptune's power to shape and control the orbits of bodies far beyond its own path, flinging some into the void and holding others, like this one, in a delicate gravitational dance. As Neptune fades to a brilliant sapphire star behind us, we cross a new threshold. We have now entered the Kuiper Belt, the ghostly donut-shaped ring of icy bodies encircling the sun. This is a realm fundamentally different from the rocky asteroid belt we navigated earlier. This is a place of deep cold, where billions, perhaps trillions, of frozen relics from the dawn of our solar system drift in the silent dark. These are the pristine building blocks of planets, preserved for eons, composed not of rock and metal, but of frozen water, ammonia, and methane. And reigning over this vast, dark kingdom of ice is its most famous and complex resident. Pluto! Thanks to the New Horizons mission, we know Pluto is no mere ice ball. It is a stunningly complex world with a vast nitrogen ice heart, towering mountains of water ice, a thin blue atmosphere, and a family of five moons. It is the anchor of this vast icy debris field, the source of most of the short period comets we see from Earth. But our journey is not over. To truly leave our solar system, we must cross one final, almost unimaginably vast structure, the Oort Cloud. This is not a cloud in any traditional sense. It is a colossal, hollow sphere of trillions of icy bodies surrounding our sun at a distance so great it would take light itself more than a year to cross it. We are now crossing the threshold. The sun is no longer our anchor. It is just another star receding behind us. We are in interstellar space. Our grand tour of home is complete, but our cosmic journey has just begun. The wonders of other stars, other worlds, and other galaxies await. The universe is calling.